Welcome back to Read Only Memories. Zin has just been murdered right after talking to her about the strange distortions that were happening to her newspaper's articles. So now we need to go to the TMI newspaper because apparently they're being affected by the same thing Zin was. So hopefully we'll pick up some new leads there. Hopefully whoever's there isn't already dead just like Zin. Some pity for me still remains, considering my recent tone, because I'm honestly not sure where we should start, Nelavanda. I suppose we should just ask the receptionist to appoint us to somebody who can answer our questions. Ah, right, Charlie Nova. That's the person we're supposed to speak to, right? Uh, do you know anything about TMI? Honestly? You do have your own mesh access, yes. I'm quite certain you can handle all the casual searches you might feel like making. We hardly have the time for me to blather out every bit of exposition you desire when you could just go look it up on your own. Wow, Turing's really pissed off. Just do a good job of making it concise. I'm gonna I'm gonna push Turing a little bit. Fair enough. If you think it will save time, I can continue to rattle off these facts when you ask for them. I just ask that you keep your queries to a minimum. We don't have a whole lot of time. Let me pull up the information you requested. Okay, what can you tell me? TMI Entertainment is a relatively popular celebrity and gossip news conglomerate. They own OK Today. They did a good job transitioning from the traditional media models of television and news to the net-based model prevalent now, pioneered by their dig digital newspaper, OK Today's The Scan Line. Some might call their programs rags, but opinion on the mesh seems more favorable than, than not. They stick to mostly good-natured prying and lean away from the seedier nastiness that paparazzi can get up to. As such, they have a positive relationship with many celebrities and regularly get exclusive scoops that keep their ratings up, despite their refusal to peddle in the darker side of the celebrity news circuit. And what do you know about Charlie Nova? Charlie Nova is TMI Entertainment's most popular TV personality. He's gotten consistently high ratings for almost a decade and isn't afraid to tell you about it. The chatter on the mesh paints him as a bit arrogant, but in that loud, backslapping kind of way that a media star can get away with. He's best known for hosting Star in the Stratosphere. It's one of those talent-seeking reality programs. Apparently when TMI can't organically discover enough celebrities, they just manufacture them. <laughs> also, according to this blog, Charlie's hair is flawless. Cool. Got it. floor plant. The plant in the corner is supported by a few stakes that are stuck in the middle of the planter. Do you want the brochure, plant? It looks like you're trying to convert shrubbery into a pro-human militia. We can't take it. It's too young to go through that much change. <laughs> a small industrial end table. Cute color. I'm going to examine every damn thing. Look at this plant. Desk plant, floor, floor plant. Is there a ceiling plant? I want a ceiling plant. A short scruffy plant sits squarely to the side of the desk. That's one way to get a plant to stop asking you to feed it. Can we take this one? The plant dodges your touch. Ooh. Ninja plant. hybrid receptionist bobs on her heels. She's either had a long day standing or is just fidgety. <laughs> I almost touched her again. Stop trying to touch people, Jesus. Just talk to them. Do you want the spoiled milk? Oh my god, those ears. <laughs> those ears are amazing. They're so freaking cute. Um, we have our own milk here. 
it's good in coffee. What about the Human Revolution brochure? That's no way to make friends with a hybrid. Yeah, she'd hate me. Um, I just showed her the business card from Dr. Fairlight. Okay, let's let's just talk like a normal person. Welcome to TMI Entertainment Incorporated. Do you have an appointment? Those ears really are amazing. Although it's strange how they're sitting up here, but they're still down here. Did I just say sitting up? Standing up? What the hell? Jesus. How do you sit up? I mean, I guess you... you... stand... sit up. You can do sit-ups, but you can't stand. I don't... I'm confusing myself. Let's not think about it. Hmm. Should I tell her about the story to try to convince her that I should be able to talk to Charlie Nova? I think so. Yeah. No, I have a story I'm about to break, and I wanted to offer TMI an opportunity to comment. Oh, um... I guess I should send you to... Sympathy, then. She'd be pretty mad if someone ran something without her getting a chance to comment. Go ahead and talk to her. She's on the other side of the room. Don't bother the talent, though. She hates that. Not exactly who I wanted to talk to, but okay. Is that you? Is this the talent? The assistant? Well, let's take a look around first. I love how all the ROMs look different. Whether it's a news ROM or a water ROM or a... Calculate the stock market ROM? Whatever the one was back at... The Augmented Eye newspaper's office. They all look different. So many cool designs. An 8ONL news rom putters speedily across the production floor, frantically looking for the next big scoop. Milk. The spoiled milk isn't bad enough to be newsworthy yet, but it's close. Touch it. Don't pick it up while it's working. Sorry. The cameras rest in their rigs, inactive. Looks like they have the same feet that the robot does. Hold on, what's over here? <gasps> that has to be Charlie Nova. Amazing hair, check. Big ego, probably check, given the his, his resting facial expression seems to be one of smugness. Oh my god, those glasses. Is it? Uh, are those even glasses? They kind of just look like a shard of... Like a big shard of a mirror that broke. That just happened to be strapped onto... Strapped onto their face. Alright, let's not touch the talent. Do you want the milk? Probably not for me, buddy. Uh, but you go ahead. Hey. Oh. Oh, you're the person. I guess I talked to the wrong person. I talked to the talent! Uh, hey, what are you doing bothering my people? Get over here. Sorry! I thought I told Nita to cancel all my appointments for the day. I swear that girl can't find her ears with both hands. Even if she does make a damn good cup of coffee. You would think with ears like hers, she wouldn't have such selective hearing. Are you sympathy? Nina said we should speak to you. Yes, of course I'm sympathy. Who do you think keeps the clocks running around here? I don't know, I don't know any of you people. So what the hell are you doing in my building? We've been given a lead on a story that involves one of your employees, Charlie Nova. You might not have noticed, but someone has been manipulating posts going out on the net to make them more extreme against the human revolution, including articles posted by Mr. Nova. We're trying to track down the culprit, 
and we need to talk to Mr. Nova to hunt down further leads. You let your ROM do all the talking for you? Must be one of those new interrogation modules all the fresh meat are raving about. Eh. Look, of course I know someone's been modifying Charlie's articles. I'm in the midst of tracking them down myself. What I want to know is why I should help you snatch the scoop out from underneath me. Super hacker twists MeshNet news for personal political vendetta. The clicks basically farm themselves. <laughs> I first read this as boner here. <laughs> I thought this said TMI's boner. And then I read the rest of the, the sentence and realized, oh, no, that's Banner. Mm. Alright, let's think about this really, really well. I can try to convince Sympathy to, to give me what I need by telling them about Zin's death, because then maybe they'll t be too damn afraid to even want to keep it a secret. Because who cares about getting a good scoop if you might end up dead? Break the story under TMI's banner. I'm sure they would like that. But would I want to give them the scoop? No. I mean, I'm not exactly a super... a super successful reporter, so I kind of want to keep the scoop for myself. So it's basically either just give out all my work to TMI, which I'm not really willing to do, give some of my work to TMI, or try to scare them into giving me the info, basically. Let's try to scare them. Say that to Zin. Zin? Augmented eyes, Zin? What does Zin have to do with this? She's the one who gave us the lead to begin with. Then... Someone threw her out of her office window. We figured Mr. Nova might be next, and we wanted to get to him before they did. Holy shit. Fine. I'll let you talk to Charlie. If someone is trying to kill people over this, I'd rather it be out and done with as fast as possible. Even if I lose the scoop. Yes, it worked! Or an entertainment sign. I'm not willing to have any of my people die for this story. But that doesn't mean you get to stomp all over Charlie to get what you want. He's a pompous clown, but he's my pompous clown. Keep it civil, or I'll throw your ass out of here and figure this out on my own. Now get on it. I need to make some calls. Alright, you smarmy bastard. Would you like some milk? Is that some kind of weird mixer? <laughs> yes. No, it's shampoo. You should put it into your super awesome hair. Fantastic. How fantastic. I just love your rum. Oh my god, that smile. Not quite as stunning as mine, but still pretty grand. Very sleek. Very clean. Bravo. Oh, Sympathy is doing that thing where she waves at me to hurry things up. Right down to the brass tacks then, I suppose? Wait, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Charlie Nova, host of Tonight in the Stars, and Star in the Stratosphere. But you already knew that, I'm sure. What can I do for you? Do I really want to ask them about themselves? I really don't. They're probably going to talk my ear off about how awesome they are. Mm. But I guess I should. Tell me about yourself. Ugh. Oh, you flatter me. Yes, you do. I can't imagine you've come all the way just to get my story, have you? After all, I've already published my very own splendid autobiography, Like a Nova. I suppose I can give you a quick rundown, even if sympathy is giving me the stink eye. 
I grew up here, and uh, on the mean streets of Neo-SF, but my jocular nature and striking countenance got me scouted for a few small product advertisements. And the rest is history. Now I'm the host of the largest celebrity news show on the mesh, and I couldn't be happier. It's all thanks to my fans, though. They're the ones who count. That freaking smile is just so... Ugh. Fake. Look, he's, he's just... As if they're just freaking stuck in it. As if they're not even capable of stopping their smile. It's just <laughs> stuck in that position. Alright, what can you tell me about TMI? Yes, any additional information on your station would be greatly appreciated. Well, I can tell you that it's the best damn network on the planet. I can confirm that 100% absolutely. We put out top-notch news and entertainment, but with real heart that our competitors just can't match. But if you really want to know about TMI, you need to know about sympathy. It's her pride and joy after all. Sure, she can be a little bit acerbic, and sure, she calls me a poofy-haired oaf all the time, but you can really tell she cares, you know? Deep down. And I'm not sure if that throat-cutting gesture she's making is a signal to move to another topic or a threat against my physical well-being. So, let's move on. What next? You know, I keep trying to think of how to make some sort of pun about having sympathy for the devil. You know, because her name's Sympathy, and the song, Sympathy for the Devil. But I just can't think of one. So I'm just going to put my failed joke out there. If anybody can think of a good pun, go for it. Have you heard that your stories are getting altered once they get posted on the mesh? Or posted to the mesh, rather. It may have come up in the last lunch meeting we had, but Sympathy assured me that it was some kind of technical glitch and our support people were on top of it. They're top notch. The absolute best money can buy. So I don't think there's anything more to say on the subject. Oh my god, this option's really aggressive. You're telling me you don't know anything at all?! Jesus, calm down, Elevanda. I do get the feeling that he's holding back, though. Hmm. <sighs> I kind of want to go with this option, but I don't want to yell at him. Let's go with this one. Look, Charles, we're just trying to get to the bottom of this. It's Charlie. Charlie Nova. And honestly, I'd absolutely love to help you out. Really, I just don't have the information you're looking for. Wait, why do I call them Chuck here in this option, instead of Charlie? It's kind of passive-aggressive. It really does seem very passive-aggressive. posts they were manipulating. And that is supposed to mean what? It's not clear to me if you're trying to imply that I had something to do with this, or that I'm being targeted for some specific reason. But if you have an accusation to level, then make it known. My time is far too important to be wasted on beating around the bush. Alright, that's enough. Ah, oh, fuck! I didn't get anywhere. Charlie has a show to get ready for, and I can't have you wasting any more of his time. He's told you everything he's going to. So get the hell out of here. If you find anything more interesting than what you've got, come back and see me again. Directly. Oh man, she looks really cheesed off now. 
you know how snippy she can get? I better get her coffee ready. Maybe that'll calm her down. We're very sorry if we made your day more difficult. Perhaps I could take the coffee over to Sympathy and we could try to smooth her rumpled feathers? Um... Yeah, okay. Sure. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You make her even matter? Uh, on second thought... It'll only take a minute. Alright, but she takes it with plenty of milk. Does she... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Cause I'm thinking about super spoiled milk and Sympathy's coffee. Are you telling me we finally have a use for the spoiled milk? I mean, I don't see how this is possibly gonna help anything, but I don't give a damn. If I can use my spoiled milk, I'm gonna use my spoiled milk. I'm crossing my fingers. Please tell me I finally found the, the fate, the divine purpose of the spoiled milk. Is this the fate of the milk? Yes, it is! Okay, let's deliver this and make amends. I thought I told you to beat it. Or do your ears just not work? How is this gonna help anything? Is it gonna make Sympathy, like, run to the bathroom and throw up or something so we get more time to talk to Charlie? That's the only thing I can think of. We just wanted to bring your coffee and make sure there were no hard feelings. <laughs> I'm not petty enough to hold a grudge just because you're leaning on Charlie a little harder than I'd like. Sometimes I think the product he uses on his hair seeps into his brain. So I've got a business to run, and you're mucking it up. Ugh. My stomach is killing me. Maybe those egg rolls I had earlier. I'm heading to the can, and you're heading to the street. Oh my god, it actually worked! Although... It's weird that she didn't mention anything about the taste of the coffee. It like instantly made her feel horrible, but she didn't notice it tasted bad, wouldn't it? If the milk was super spoiled, wouldn't there just be like lumps of spoiled cottage cheese milk in like floating in the coffee? It wouldn't dissolve, would it? Ugh. I don't even want to think about it. W whatever. Let's not think about it. Although, rest in peace, milk. Uh, rest in peace, milk 2064-2064? Is that the year? What year is it? It's 2060-something. Does anything have a date on it? I need, I need a date. I don't know what year it is. Ah, whatever. Do you want a signed photo? Hmm. Uh, I guess just the same dialogue option as before. We're just trying to get to the bottom of this. It's char- yeah, it's weird. This is repeating now. I guess let's just try to do the same thing as before and see if we can keep talking now that sympathy isn't going to stop us. Okay, it was your posts they were manipulating. Oh! Good goddamn. I don't know what's wrong with my stomach. Ah, Jesus, I guess I just had one opportunity and I was supposed to choose a different option. Uh, can I keep giving sympathy more horrible coffee? Didn't I tell you to get the hell out of here? You're on my last nerve, and if you wanted to earn a grudge with me, you're just about there. Move. How many tries am I going to get at this? That did not go well at all. 
We need some kind of leverage to get Mr. Nova to give us the information we want. I'm certain he knows something, don't you? I do feel like he's holding back. He's playing dumb, and I don't think he's actually dumb. Even if he is a kind of smarmy bastard, I don't think he's stupid. He's being pretty evasive. Indeed. While you were talking to him, I took the opportunity to look into his history more thoroughly. It turns out he did a series of promos for the local Hassi bar early in his career and some fans still spot him there from time to time. Mmm. Are you saying we should stake out the Hassie bar and wait for him? It's a long shot. Frankly, everything about this case has been one long shot after another. Maybe we should question the people at this Hassie establishment and look for any dirt we can use to put some pressure on Mr. Nova. There must be something. It's the only path I see. Sure. The Hassie Bar is located on Market Street, near the Genus Clinic. We can head there whenever you're ready. Yep, that's the same one that we've been to a bunch of times, right? Alright, goodbye Nina, by the way, you're totally adorable! Oh my god! Nina's really, really adorable. Those ears, they're so big! I want big bunny ears, or whatever those are. Yo, Brian. How's it going? One simple failure will not... Okay, goodbye. It's the same thing you said before. The poor weather rom is still just cranking out the snow. It looks like it's constipated. Yo, Keith! You don't even look like you can see outside your beanie. How's it going? It's your friend, Keith. Enjoying a hassy. Wait, since when is Keith my friend? Who the hell's Keith? Keith, I think you're an imposter of my actual friend. I'm gonna shoot you now. You shouldn't point that at people. But it's Keith! Oh, hey, it's Nella Vanda. Wow. Uh, who's this? <laughs> exactly what I'm wondering, Turing. This is Keith, an old buddy of mine! Question mark? Hey, not too old now. It's great to see you, though. Sort of surreal, too. You're never around on social sites or anything, you know. I bet you didn't see any of the pictures I put up for my last climbing trip in Colorado. Did you manage to keep that plant I got you alive? Oh, you gave me the plant! Keith! Yeah, my old pal Keithy boy. Yeah, dude, the plant's great. In fact, the plant grew so big, it's actually the Christmas tree in the Hassie bar right there. I donated it to the bar because I love this Hassie bar. I love Hassie. I really love Hassie. Your plant totally didn't die. Yeah, totally. Really? I haven't seen it in forever. For a tech journalist, you do have a pretty poor net presence. That's what I told her. I remember that, Turing. That's just like her. So what's with the pot? That's Turing, my... Uh, my ROM. Yours? Really? Huh. I didn't think you'd like to bring work home, as it were. Anyway, it's great to see you. What brings you to the Hassie Bar? Doing a review of that sweet weather ROM outside or something? Um, actually, we're doing a super secret investigation. I'm like totally a CIA sleeper agent. All right, now that's the kind of journalism I'm talking about. I know, right? Indeed, we're looking into some accusations made against Charlie Nova. And we're actually trying to build up a solid case against him. No shit. 
I actually may have exactly what you need. Charlie comes here all the time. You know that show he's the host of? A star in the stratosphere? The show where they let normal people try out for real acting and, and singing contracts and stuff? Listen to this recording I made when he was here last month on his book tour. So many people come up to me thinking that if they can sing or act, I'll just make them a superstar. Well, that isn't how it works. Raw talent isn't enough to get you by in this industry. And anyone who thinks so is lying to themselves. It takes hard work and persistence. You gotta want it, and want it bad. But the kids I get on Star in the Stratosphere, which I host each and every week, as you all know, they're all so young and hungry. I love them. I do my damnedest to make sure they get what they want. They give me their best, so I'm gonna give them mine. It's not much, but it might help you build a case if you spin it right. Maybe edit clips together and mash it into something sinister if you're desperate. <laughs> no kidding about it. Not being much? That... I thought you were gonna show me some incriminating evidence. That's not incriminating at all. Did I say incriminating? 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 I don't know what I just said. Here. I just made a copy for you. Anyway, I'd love to catch up soon. For now, I'll let you keep at it. You can usually find me here if you want to chat again. Awesome, Keith. By the way, never come to my apartment. <clears throat> I don't want it to see. I don't want him to see the body. Thanks, Keith. Later. Nilavanda. Why did you tell Keith that I belong to you? Hmm. It's more convenient that way during investigations? Well, the, literally speaking, the true answer is because I didn't have a choice. But... Very fair. You may continue to run with that as your story with those who don't or shouldn't know the truth about me. Anyway. This is pretty innocuous. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna need more evidence if we're to fabricate a believable story that will convince Mr. Nova it's in his best interest to help us. What about you? Hassy bar customers tend to be regulars. With the new Hassy Hot Cups, you can... Yeah, okay. I haven't seen you around here before. Is there something I can help you with? I heard Charlie Nova hangs out around here sometimes. Another one of his fans, huh? Yeah, he comes here sometimes. I don't really get why everyone likes him so much. What's your issue with him? Well, I have a picture from this time he flipped off a box of kittens. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Somebody brought them to try to give away, and one of them scratched him up. He ended up taking it home, but he really hammed it up about getting scratched. I think he ended up calling him... Uh... I think it was Captain Snuggles? It was pretty funny, actually. I'll send your ROM a picture. Flipping off a box of kittens. <laughs> That's like one of those joke things, right? Like, joke bad evidence about somebody? When you joke about ruining somebody's public image, whether it be like a celebrity or especially like a politician. It's like, yeah, they punch babies or they kick puppies or something. Flipping off a box of kittens is basically that. <laughs> How you doing, Ramona, by the way? Also, it's strange that your last name is by the way, by the way. What can I do for you? I was hoping you had some time to talk. Sure. I still have a little bit before closing, and I could use some conversation to distract me from the anticipation of the VR drama I have waiting for me when I get off. What do you want to know?
Well, of course you gotta tell me what the VR drama is about. Oh my god. Oh, it's an ongoing drama called Magical Commander Yukino. Yukino at the gates to the deep. Jesus Christ, that's a long name. In it, you play the magical girl Yukino as she fights off elder gods as they arise from the ocean. That sounds like... That movie I forgot the name of. Wow, I totally forgot the name of it. R Ron Perlman is in it. And like one of the main guys was an actor on Sons of Anarchy and it was directed by Pacific Rim. That's the name of it, Pacific Rim. That sounds like Pacific Rim. It's a bit cliched and just about as silly as you would expect. But it includes some really interesting intersection between the Japanese magical girl trope and the American Cthulhu mythos all with a pseudo-military theme. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, Ramona, that sounds amazing. Can I please watch it with you? Or, well, I guess play it with you? I mean, it's a VR drama, you play as the main character, I guess? I don't really know how VR dramas work, to be honest. Uh, anyway, in the newest episode, Yukino has to face off against... Yith? Hope I'm pronouncing that right as they tried to inhabit the bodies of people in the present to escape their destruction in the past. Cool. Ah, yes, this is the question I'm really wondering about. How does a VR drama work? Is it like a video game? Eh, not really. Video games are about winning and manipulating the mechanics of the system to get ahead, right? Dramas are more about inhabiting the role of the character. There are rules, but they're mostly about behaving consistently in the fictional world. It's a bit like being in improv theater, except if you get too far out of your character, the system boots you out and you have to start the episode over. Really? That's interesting. That's really interesting, actually, if you think about it. So... That means it's not a passive experience. Because as it is now, watching a movie or a TV show or something is very, very passive. You don't have to do anything. It'll just keep going, whether you're paying attention or whether you're asleep or, or whatever. But in this case, you have to be constantly engaged and actually trying to work within the universe and work within the story. Otherwise, it'll kick you out. Huh. So does that mean you can do anything in character? Or do you have to stick very specifically to exactly what's supposed to happen in the story? Because if you, if you do have to stick exactly to what happens in the story, then, then does that mean you have to like read the script beforehand of what's supposed to happen so that you can actually, you know, do the right things? Like, you know, if you're supposed to kill a character during some pivotal plot moment, how are you supposed to know that you're supposed to kill them? Everyone experiences the drama a little differently, but it stays broadly consistent because you have to maintain the behavior of the character you're inhabiting. This sounds fascinating. It requires you to really get inside the head of another person. I like it better than VR games, but that's just me. Cool! Super cool! the best. Super awesome. If you need any other suggestions, just let me know. I've played through a little bit of everything. I'm sure I could find something you'll like. Maybe a detective drama? Anyway. Huh. Do you think there's a VR drama where you get to play as Sean Bean? And all you have to do is just die repeatedly? Like, that's your, that's your character arc? Tell me more about VR technology. You don't have internal hookups, do you? The older sets are all helmets that use electromagnetic waves to stimulate the neural pathways in your brain to induce the desired sensory input. It's pretty crude, though, which is why EM hats give you that dreamlike experience doesn't quite feel real. 
the Direct Link network has way higher fidelity. It's like actually being there. So, we're talking 1080p 60fps, right? And since the Direct Link can interrupt your primary motor cortex, you don't have to take muscle relaxers to keep from flailing around. Oh god. So, if you wear the helmet, you have to take muscle relaxers? That sounds horrible. But some people are still scared off by it. How come? Well, it's pretty invasive. They inject this smart polymer into the base of your skull, right at the brainstem. And it crawls along your primary neural pathways and bonds to your major sensory centers. Oh, Jesus. That does sound really disturbing. It's been the safe for almost a decade, but a lot of folks are still pretty skeeved out by the idea of having a bunch of conductive plastic coating the inside of their brains. I would be. Plus, for the 24 hours or so that it's hooking everything up and self-calibrating, you start to have intense hallucinations because of all the electrical cross-firing. It's a trip, I'll tell you that. But no worse than the stuff people have been taking for millennia. Watching the world melt. Anyway, if you're looking to get installed, I have a guy who does great work. Just let me know. So I heard Charlie Nova did promos for this place. What's he like? Charlie's a complete trip. We met when he was just starting out doing adverts. And he still drops in every once in a while to hang out. I love the guy. He's super funny. Always has the best stories. And his hair is perfect. And he parties harder than anyone I know. A couple weeks ago, he invited me to this rave at some hole that's probably already shut down. And he got so amped up on Crash that he jumped up on a table and hosted an impromptu dirty dancing contest. Hmm. I can use this. I swear, if he wasn't Charlie Nova, we would have gotten chucked out on our asses. But it was a lot of fun. If you want to meet him, just hang around here long enough. He loves mingling with his fans. Not that it helps his ego any. Okay, I'm gonna talk with the other customers. Although not really, because I kind of already talked with him. Sure, just let me know if you need anything. I'm always happy to help. Oh yeah. This should be enough to get his attention. Frankly, I'm starting to feel a bit uneasy about this Nelavanda. Mr. Nova is clearly an upstanding individual, if just a bit boisterous. But I suppose if we're in for a penny, we're in for a pound. This should be more than enough anecdotal evidence to fabricate a less than flattering image of Mr. Nova that the public will eat right up. Let us present our story to him immediately. Hopefully our delay has not put him in physical danger. Yeah, hopefully he's still okay. You know, I kind of want to buy another plant. If I bought another plant, do you think Keith would notice that I switched out the plants? And that the total, uh, the original one totally, totally died in agonizing death? Keith would probably notice. Well, actually, Keith can barely see, so maybe Keith wouldn't notice. Alright. <laughs> well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna go be a total douchebag to Mr. Nova.